Hey everyone, Notorious here. Welcome back to my channel. Excited to have you here for the fourth episode in my SRT Hitch series. So, today I'm going to teach you how to tie a SRT Hitch that I developed called the Precision SRS. And just like the other hitches you've seen so far, this will work on a single rope without any hardware, like a rope wrench. It'll work as is. So let me show you how I got to this hitch. Take a look at the table here and you'll see the first hitch right here. This was the first iteration. This is the Precision SRS-1 and this was pretty rudimentary and um, although it sort of worked it didn't work to my liking so next came the second iteration which is the Precision SRS-2 now this hitch did work it worked pretty consistently um, but I kept playing around and I decided to keep seeing if I could improve it. And I ended up coming up with the third iteration, which is the Precision SRS-3. And you might be thinking, wow, these look exactly the same, but let me flip them over. And you'll see that they are very different in some ways. Um, you can see how this one goes around counterclockwise to create the circle and this one goes clockwise. And also you can see that there's a twist here between the adjustability section here that's what this area here is called and the coil whereas this one it's connected without that twist so there's less separation um, so that's great um, if you want to take screenshots of these hitches um, you can do that now you can take a screenshot of all the fronts and then I'll flip them over in a second so you can take screenshots of the back in case you wanted to try any of these um, but I ended up coming up the issue with this one and this one as well is that it worked great with an eye-to-eye -eye, but if you were to use it with the legs tied with a bend to create a loop um, it tended to jam so in order to combat that, I decided to get rid of this crossover here that I loved so much, to be honest, because it's very pretty. Um, and I instead put what's called an elbow. And you've probably seen these before in knotting. Um, but they allow, well, this allows um, when you no matter what you're doing with the legs all of the movement stops here so it doesn't affect what's going on in the adjustability section or the coil basically it allows however you set it originally it allows it to stay that way which is ideal because then it won't bind um, so this is great um, so okay I'm going to teach you how to tie both the Precision SRS 3 and 4 and there, because the difference is only an elbow I can show you both hitches in one tying demonstration. So without further ado let's get to it. So okay we are going to now investigate how to tie the Precision SRS 3 and 4. 
First thing you're going to do, and this is the same for both, is you're going to begin by creating four wraps going upward. Okay. Now, at this point, you want a little more in the right, or this leg here, the top leg, um, than the bottom leg. And what you're going to do now is cross this leg over like that and cross this leg under like this. And then bring the top leg under the bottom leg over the rope and then you're going to want to open up this section here and put the hitch cord through and underneath both of those strands and then don't pull it too tight, just create that circle that you see here in both of these. And now the next step is to take your hitch cord and put it between the rope and this strand here. So right in this opening here. And at this point, I recommend dressing and setting um, a little bit, not too much, but just get some of that out of the way and, um, yeah, that's a good idea. Uh, so now what you're going to do, if you're going to tie the Precision SRS 3, all you have to do now is take this strand, bring it up through here and boom now all you have to do is make sure that this is crossed like that and you have created precision SRS 3 now, if you want to create Precision SRS 4, which is the, you know, the best performing option, all you have to do is you're going to remove these two strands from either side of the rope. So I'm going to pull up here, pull this out, and then pull this out. And then now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create that elbow, this elbow here that you see, and I'm going to take it and get it nice and tight and then twist like that. And then I'm going to replace those strands back into the circle on either side of the rope. So the right, the right, the resulting right strand, goes in here okay and then the resulting left strand goes in here now make sure that your elbow is neat it should look exactly like this and there you have it you have created the Precision SRS 4. All you want to do now is continue to dress and set, and you're good to go. I tied this one much tighter than the other one, which is why it looks so bunched up. Um, it shouldn't be this tight, to be honest. I 
over did the setting or excuse me the dressing and setting but um, nevertheless this performs beautifully um, now let's say you want to if you watch the second episode of this series you learned about skib SKIB which stands for stop or not in the back which is a method of tying eyes on a hitch that Brocky created. Brocky is the arborist who I'm collaborating with to create this series. And he developed this method. And if you wanted to use Skib to create the eyes, in this instance, what you can do is you can actually Take your right leg, place it in this opening here. Take your left leg, place it in the opposite opening, like that. Now, get a carabiner, okay, and clip both loops, and then now pull those strands nice and tight so that you have nice tight eyes okay it'll look like this you can do the exact same thing on the precision SRS 3 um, just you know move it in between these two crosses here um, in between the two strands and you're good to go and now all you have to do is tie the stopper knot in the back. Um, I'm going to tie an overhand. It is recommended that you use a figure eight because an overhand is not necessarily secure, although I climb this way all the time and I've never had any issues. So now that I've got that there, check this out. I've got eyes, right? And it's easy to tend and do whatever you need to do. And it's just, it's a beautiful thing. So uh, it's a lot better than tying poacher's knots at the end of each strand like most people usually do. Um, I'm sure you know what I mean. So, all right, there you have it. This is, or this has been a demonstration of the Precision SRS series, an SRT hitch that I developed over the last few weeks. Um, let me know what you think in the comments. If you try it out, definitely leave a review. Um, I'd be, you know, whether it's good or bad or in between, I'd be stoked to hear it. Um, and definitely check out my channel if you haven't already. And definitely check out the rest of the videos in this series once they all get posted. Um, at some point I'll have an end screen here where when I'm talking right now it will show all of the videos ready to play. Um, but yeah. Check out my channel for more hitch how-tos and not tutorials and climbing videos. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.